Well, they are creatures of the night and spend their lives in the darkest corners of the world. But it seems that bats lead a far more sophisticated life than most people realize. DRT World's Sourav Roy explains. This is all about how bats talk to each other. Scientists have discovered that there's more to their high-pitched calls than we knew before. Researchers from Tel Aviv University studied 15,000 different kinds of bat calls. They found that the calls have specific meanings, and they're specific to individuals. The calls contain information about the identity of the bat emitting the call and the bat being addressed. Separately, they also figured out that these bats would often argue with each other for different reasons, like sleeping and hanging spots in their favorite caves and crevices, and sharing food as humans do. Some of the calls were messages about mating partners telling a rival to back off. Other times, it was just for the sake of fighting. Whatever the reason for the bat chatter, scientists say that studying this communication will help them understand the evolution of human language skills. For more insight into the world of bat communication, we're joined by Yosef Pratt. He was one of the researchers in the study, and he joins us now from Tel Aviv to tell us more. Hi, Yosef. So through analyzing some 15,000 bat sounds, you were able to determine that bats actually have conversations not dissimilar to humans. Well, yeah, we discovered that their voices contain much more information than we previously thought. Uh, I mean, when, when you just enter a bat cave, you hear a lot of different sounds. Uh, you know, cacophony. So we started to untangle it and uh, see if they actually mean anything. And we found that actually they do convey a lot of information. So can we assume from your conclusions, though, that bats aren't alone here and that other animals might have more sophisticated means of communication as well? Well, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure you can find uh, sophisticated communication uh, in a lot of uh, different animals. Uh, the special uh, thing about bats is that birds are very social, so they have a lot of opportunity uh, and need to communicate. And they are also very vocal, so uh, they need vocal communication, and that makes them a, a great model for uh, animal communication research. So, uh, do you think you'll ever be able to properly translate uh, not just these bat languages, but other animal languages as well? Well, that, that's a bit uh, far-fetching to. to think that we'll ever have a translator, an English Batish uh, translator, but uh, we can gain many insights about the evolution of language, for instance, if we know how uh, different animals uh, convey information through vocalizations. So are you limiting your studying now just to bats, or do you plan to branch out to uh, other very kind of social animals that engage in similar forms of communication? Well, uh, here in our lab, we are uh, specialized in uh, bats. Uh, so we study almost ex exclusively bats. Uh, we actually now uh, enhance our understanding on how they learn their communication and uh, try to understand the more details about the structure of the communication. Okay, Yosef Prat, we're going to have to leave it there. Thanks so much for joining us from Tel Aviv, and good Thank luck you. with your study going forward. Thank you very much.